Hello and welcome to Uncle Sam's Niece, Gifts and Antique Shop and Tea Bar. My name is Kathy Hamilton and I am the owner of the shop. The name of the shop was because I was born on the 4th of July. Now one of the most frequently asked questions is how to brew a perfect cup of tea. Now to brew a perfect cup of tea, the first thing you want to do is select the type of tea you're going to brew. So today I've chosen a black tea, and it's a special blend done for Uncle Sam's niece, and it has some red, white, and blue features in it. It's really pretty to look at. Now there are a few basic tools that I use to make the perfect cup of tea, and first is a spoon, measuring spoon, called the perfect tea, cup of tea spoon. It's equal to one teaspoon. I'll take one teaspoon per cup. Now remember, antique cups tend to be six ounce teacups. I am choosing to use a tea sack, and there are many types of infusers. You can use uh, strainers or such, but I'm using a tea sack that you can customize your blend. Water temperature is important. When it's a black tea, you should have the water at boiling, which is 212. I have a boiling water system here that I use in the shop, and it will boil the water to 212 and keep the temperature for 20 minutes. But for home use, you can use an electric kettle. Now, the timing. I have a little timer. For a, anywhere from two to five minutes. For a cup of tea, I do about two minutes. And I'll set the timer and let it brew. Now, if you want stronger tea, some people think that you just keep it in longer, but that could make it bitter. What you would do is just add more tea to your tea bag or your infuser. So here's a, an electric tea kettle that you can use at home use, and I also have that for the shop. Some of them have actually built-in temperature guide for you, too. Okay, there it is, we're all set. And now I wanna use my tea bag squeezer to bring, pull out my tea bag, and there is the perfect cup of tea. Now to taste. Mmm. I always recommend that, especially with a new tea, you try it the way it is, and then add what you like in it, honey, sugar, or milk. Part of the enjoyment of tea is the atmosphere, and I hope I've accomplished that here at Uncle Sam's Niece. There are several places you can sit to have tea. One is uh, in front of a fireplace, and the other is at the table or at the tea bar itself. I also sell gifts and antique, and right now we're getting ready for spring and Easter, so we have some displays of lots of bunnies and eggs and things for Easter time. What goes better with a cup of tea than a homemade scone? 